All right, guys. So Neil Young, Neil Young, plus the promise of the real, the visitors have just came out. Now, of course, it's a ten-track album, which is about fifty-one percent minutes exactly. Now let's get into it. Now, for some of you who may not be familiar with the great Neil Young. Allow me to fill you in. Now, Neil Young is a person with heavy blues, country, folk background, who, of course, blew up in the 1970s to late 60s because he had very heavy political ideology and he even made a song called Southern Man, which a famous band that you may have heard of, which was Leonard Skinner, made a reference to Southern Man in their song Sweet Home Alabama, which come to think about it, kind of sounded like a wolf in London with the whole, how it builds up the whole sound and stuff like that. But that's getting into another um, another situation. Now, of course, Neil Young, he was a guy who was notoriously named in Nirvana's Kurt Cobain's suicide note as he had this one song where he said, it's better to burn out than fade away, which, you know, was pretty huge. And stuff like that. And it said that he, he was very bothered with the, that whole quotation or quote, you know. Of course, he was honored for always sticking his to himself and really keeping to what he wanted in his art form. And he, he releases albums prolifically. And this is just another one, which, of course, with his band. Now, let's get into the album. Now, the one thing I can talk about this album is it has a lot of repeating themes. Like on the, sand, like on the song Stand Tall, it talks about standing up for what you believe in. And in the song The Children of destruction it talks literally about standing up for what you believe in which i heard these tracks and i'm like deja vu what the hell but that's another um thing i also like the song already great where he visits the whole idea of being a visitor and that even though he's from Canada, he loves the USA. And then they keep up with the whole idea of visitor as in fly by night deal, which is a reference to being like a visitor and going back and forth to a place, which sounded nice and all. It's just that on this two minute track, I just hear a lot of just gibberish talking for some reason, like doesn't really add to the track at all. Hold on. Cram it here and shove it there. Study all the questions and fill in what you hear. Try to be nice and be sincere. Even though you're I don't know if he's like parroting like a teacher who's very much strongly into his students learning or whatever. But it seemed a little weird when I heard it. And to build up on the whole idea of people talking in the background about some strange stuff, the song Stand Tall, which, you know, first few seconds have, I guess, a person being interviewed or whatever. I don't know, just children in the background talking sound like teenagers. <laughs> Like, who's talking about unicorns being real in this whole track? 
it seemed odd to me that they would actually, like, I don't know, put that on there for their album. But hey, that's Neil Young, I guess. Oh, yes. The whistling on the song Change of Heart really reminds me of like a mixture of the Andy Griffin theme song and the Fistful of Dollars soundtrack. Like, like I really dig the whole folky, relaxed vibe of this album. But sometimes the album gets a little bit too relaxed. Like on one of the songs I love where in which it's called When Bad Got Good for some reason. And it's pretty much sound like like I don't know, like somebody just talking about lock them up, like maybe a corrupt cop or whatever. Maybe it's talking about like a corrupt cop going from bad to good after he sees like the carnage he does he done to the youth but I don't know but it sounded pretty okay like I don't know why he would um put like the sound of somebody walking probably walking throughout the jail Lock them up. But one of the worst tracks on here is Dig a Hole. Like, it's only two minutes. This song, Dig a Hole, When Bad Got Good, is only two minutes. Almost, fa al al almost al always is about, last time I checked, two minutes long. No, that was my mistake. It was Fly By Night that was only two minutes long. And you get tracks like this, which is two minutes long. Then you get tracks like Forever, which is ten minutes long. Then you get tracks like Carnival, which is eight minutes long. So it's like this album goes from two extremes. But it's only like ten tracks, so it's pretty cool, you know. Still, I like the bluesy, folky, country vibe of this whole album and stuff like that. It's pretty nice. Overall, if I have to give a consensus or a summary of the album, I like Already Great because it praises America. I like Fly By Night. The same reason I like Stand Tall, because it's a little bit weird, and it's kind of a little bizarre, but I like it, though. It's, you know. Speaking of Stand Tall, I kind of think that Children of Destruction literally, like, says the same thing or the same concept of stand tall as in the whole idea of just standing for what you believe in the song almost always I like it for the same reason I like forever it's a slow burner but the country vibe really makes it feel okay and good change of heart Pretty much sounds like a western, especially with the whistle. Carnival, it's about eight minutes of just him referencing freak shows and stuff like that. Very nice. Dig a hole, it was pretty it was pretty bad. I don't not like dig a hole. And when bad got good, the only thing I really wish is I wish this was a longer um, planned out idea. And I wish he gives us a detailed reason of why he's putting them in jail. And, I mean, it could have did like like the same thing with Change of Heart. Like it could have just like go into various detail or Carnival. But overall, I like this album. I'm going to give this album a six. 
Please like, subscribe, share the video, and I'm out.